Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Ram. Today is the first and hopefully a small series of very interesting videos revolving around a few certain parts. This is the Mark IV space plane system mod, and it gives us this cockpit, this drone core, uh, that's from BD Armory, this save has BD Armory and Skillful and some other things, but you know, today we're focused on the space plane, space Mark IV thing, I can't speak well, this is a BD Dynamics, so that's, that's not it, these are also Dynamics parts. This part, however, the Scimitar engine, is basically a more powerful version of the, what's it called? The Saber, and that's part of this mod. There's also this adapter, there's this other adapter, there's, there's several adapters, there's these fuselage pieces, there's some cargo pieces, there's a service compartment piece which gives you plenty of space to put things in and has this beautiful monoprop tanks design which is it's it's all very lovely and so basically here's here's where we're going with this in the VAB I have several work in progress vehicles these are Saturn V rockets or at least a miniaturized version of Saturn V rockets if I remember correctly these do work however I'm not 100% sir, as they are labeled work in progress. This is an escape system, this is a command pod, this is a command module, this is the top stage of a lander, it says NASA appropriately enough. There is also a bottom stage, because these are proper two stage landers like the actual moon lander was, the moon landers were. There's a little ladder that probably can't even be used properly by Kerbals, but oh well. Then there's this tank, which seems to be glitched slightly out the top, don't know why. That's the third stage, which is a transfer stage. Second stage to get into orbit. First stage to get us off the ground with, of course, five of the F1 engines, which are actually, um, if I can, I can't move the camera properly to show you. But they're, they're, yes. There we go. I can zoom out a bit. Yes. They are Kerbal engines, of course. And basically... I was challenged by someone to launch every stage of one of these into space and then build it in orbit and then who knows what from there. Today I'm going to start building a space plane to carry the entire rocket or perhaps if I you know completely fail at that ambitious goal pieces of this rocket into space where they will then be combined into a complete Saturn V rocket in low carbon orbit, which I will then take to probably lathe, since it would have the delta V to make it there, and because I've never been there, something that occasionally astounds people, I actually haven't been outside of the carbon system except for once or twice on Duna, because, you know, I've just been messing around with planes primarily, and then also, you know, my obsession with recreating miniature versions of the Saturn V rocket, which I've done twice now, or maybe three times, I have another craft in here called the Small Apollo. This one is not nearly as complete as the other ones, and yes, this is definitely the older one, I can tell, because it's made entirely of these. Or maybe it's the newer one. I'm pretty- yeah, it's, it's definitely the older one, I can tell, because it has the ugly Sepatron sticking out the side, and it has Sepatron separators in the cockpit instead of in a proper escape tower, and also, wow, that is ugly. I remember why I, I gave up on this design. I remember why. Look at it. It's the command module itself, like this bit, isn't that bad. Oh, if I remember correctly, I was also having some fuel flow glitchingness problems with this. So yes, that is why it was abandoned. Anyhow, in this first video, I'm just kind of going to give a quick look at this mod and the parts that it comes with because I figure why not? Even though this isn't really a mod spotlight, I guess I guess it kind of accidentally is because I'm going to go ahead and mention some of these parts. What is this? This fuel fuselage. I need to show you. I already showed you that there's like the various fuel pieces, of course. There's some end caps for it. There's also, in the aerodynamic sections, there's actually several of these heavy intakes. There's a heavy one. There's a heavy one with a adapter bit at the back. I accidentally clicked the wrong thing. There's a dual engine port here. I again hit the wrong thing. There's also a triple one which I'm trying to, there we go, close close enough that, oh yeah, those are just adapter pieces, they aren't even intakes, so you can stick an intake onto the front of those to make amazing intakeness. 
there's that's that's a stock part i don't know why i felt the need to pull that out right now there's this really interesting nose cone that i really like um as the video that i first heard about this pack says it's the Sto snoopy nose cone it makes the point of the nose cone instead of centered it makes it down a bit ah here we go cargo bay sections because we need those in order to fit the whole frickin saturn 5 rocket inside this rocket of course the cargo bay strangely enough also does come with fuel and oxidizer which is pretty nice these little bits on the side carry fuel and oxidizer which is very useful there's also a tail cargo bay i believe this opens downward yes there we go so you can see you can fit things in through there in fact we could actually have that on ours that that actually i, I like that idea i think we'll have that on ours there's also a docking nose cone i didn't actually know there was a docking nose cone let's see if we can get an animation of it opening ah that is that is nice i think we're ooh, it, it sticks out quite a bit like it actually pushes out of it i i like that i think we're gonna have that as well and the crew cabin which of course i'm kind of doing a little demonstration of things so i want to show you the crew cabin with some crew in it so here we are on the runway with this horrible mess of parts that is oh that is that is quite hideous let's go into an iva to show you the cockpit this is a four kerbal cockpit as you can see from here there's two seats on the right there's one right behind this guy that i can't oh there's someone in it okay there's a whole array of panels and buttons that do you know nothing of course this would turn into a raster prop monitor if you had that installed there's of course the throttle controls that snap back into place i i really think they should eh, whatever they're they're supposed to um there's you know the hot keys for full thrust and no thrust but i think they should have the um internals show it move quickly rather than instant because that just just that breaks immersion you know what i mean like here i am in the seat and then all of a sudden that magically can toggle that's kind of lame but yes there's, this is what it looks like from inside the cockpit, with this horrible intake just blocking my entire view to the side. I can't wait to fly this from my VA. And then if I switch views with this button, that's the wrong button. If I switch views, oh yes, I can see the rear look. This is what it looks like back here. There's a little metal grate back there. And this is what the rear room looks like. On the top, there's actually eight seats in here. On the top level, you have this. And on the bottom level, you have this. Of course, uh, this one's not finished being modeled, whereas the front, I think the front is done, because this looks great. But the other one, not quite so shiny and polished, like, you know, there's just no textures here or anything. But in any case, that's what it looks like. And this is a very well-designed plane, obviously, ready to go to space. Yeah, I, th I think I'll go ahead and make that the first episode. This cockpit is from a mod called the Mark IV Space, Pan Space Plane System, I believe. You know what? I should look that up before actually starting. This cockpit, the Mark IV cockpit, is part of a parts pack called the Mark, Mark IV Space Plane Parts Pack. Or... Mark? Uh, try that one more time. Let me actually open that in another tab since I can't seem to remember it for five freaking seconds. Let me switch over to the VAB to show you where we're going with this. Here's where we're going with this, the VAB. In the VAB, we have several work in progress vessels. My voice changed suddenly. Okay, I didn't realize I had a Kerbal Engineer on this. Wow, that is a giant wheel. I also have Kerbal Foundry stuff in here. 